All right, y'all. I don't know what happened to the last reading. But anyway, hey, TikTok. And you guys will also be seeing this on YouTube. Make sure you guys follow my uh, YouTube page at Urban Alchemistic. Everything will be in the description. Okay. All right. So this is my second uh, video. I don't know what happened to the first one. I was editing it and then I pressed some button to process the video. And <laughs> I don't know what happened to it. But anyways, um, I drew out another six cards. Okay. So let's see what's going on. Okay. First off, we have the medium aura and detach. Okay, medium. It says spiritual mediums are individuals who are believed to be able to communicate with those who have passed away. Not just that, but <clears throat> um, it's a more broad. It's that, that's actually kind of broad. Uh, but uh, medium is many different things. Not just being able to get information from those who passed away, but getting information through spirits guides deities this and that um you, i'm also sensing that you guys have the gift of clairs okay you guys have the gift of many different clairs uh, this is something that's been passed down okay um so yes i'm speaking to the psychic medium okay so you guys can be psychic medium you guys can be good at reading auras we have aura here aura is the energy field that surrounds every living being reflecting their essence so you guys are good at that as well um reading auras okay you guys have a strong aura here all right you guys are able to read auras and see auras here okay we also have the detached card detachment is the skill of releasing and relinquishing something without losing it entirely all right so you guys are being asked to detach okay so as you can see here you get a lot of spiritual tea. I feel like your spiritual team definitely be snitching on people for you. They give you a lot of tea, right? Um, you, you're very much, uh, you don't put too much, like too much on it. Um, you know that it'll come to you. Okay. The answers that you need question, you know, that question that you need answers, excuse me, you know that it'll come to you. Okay. Um, all you do is just put that intention out there. They give you updates. They give you a lot of data. Okay. Uh, we also got the angels. The angels card uh, showed up again. Okay. All right. So I'm definitely picking up on Earth Angel uh, energy as well. We also have the Oracle. Okay. You guys can have the gift of like whatever. Like you, have, you guys can have the gift of like prophecy, being able to speak things. Okay. So we're getting psychic media. We're getting the many different clairs. Okay. I picked that up. Picked up on that in the previous reading. Um, that you guys have a uh, clear, clear audience. That just that the spirits uh, snitch on people for you via clear audience, okay. Um, what else? So yeah, the uh, oracle here. So yes, a oracle is a mystical tool or source of freedom used for divine insights, guidance, revelations about the past, present, and future. So you guys are also very skilled. At a divination reading auras uh you guys are gifted in many different clairs because you guys get so much input spirit is asking you to practice detachment okay practice the art of detachment uh because um sorry that was my smoke detector um practice the art of a detachment because i feel like you guys get so much input all right you guys feel everything you guys could be you know empathic naturally empathic and you guys feel everything you guys pick up on everything you pick up on the collective energy very sensitively okay to the point where sometimes you don't even leave the house because the energy just be too much all right as far as the oracle goes i feel like um you guys know how you guys speak on things and when you speak on things people either feel inspired triggered validated or condemned okay i feel like you guys have always been an oracle your whole life you just always seem to say the right thing the thing that people need to hear um whatever that you'll notice that throughout life like every time you speak on something people may not agree with you people will be quick to try to like you know argue with you about it or whatever but it always turns out that what you said was right if you ever warn people about other people about certain things whatever that you speak on it always comes to pass and you guys you guys notice this all right. Now we have the Oracle and we have the occult. 
All right. So I'm definitely talking to some highly advanced, um, highly advanced, uh, people, um, sci scientists, scientists, like, uh, you guys do a lot of different experiments. You guys, uh, you guys learn through trial and error. You guys are very, uh, hands-on. Okay. You guys like to read books, not just eBooks, but natural books. You guys love the sound and the feel of turning pages. Okay. Um, you guys also love words, very wordy, um, as well. Okay. Yeah, master of divination. You guys are really good at divination here. All right. So you're developing all types of uh, uh, spiritual gifts. And I feel like you're slowly but surely training yourself. Okay. We have the occult matters involving superficial or secret knowledge. Okay. A lot of people who are misinformed, kind of like the spiritual Christian type of readers, they tend to say occult as if it's evil. Occult just means hidden knowledge. So it's kind of stupid as fuck when you see people say, oh, they in, they in the occult, they do in the cult, they in the cult, they in a cult. You're like, huh. you know what I'm saying? There's a cult, C-U-L-T, and then there's occult. So, you know what I'm saying? So just, you know, <laughs> I just want to say that shit. Okay. Um, but yeah, you guys definitely do study into the occult, which is basically what it is, is hidden knowledge. So when somebody's an occultist, that does not mean that they are a devil worshiper and this and that. It means that they are into hidden knowledge, hidden spirituality, things that are not available to the public, things that require spiritual discipline. Okay. It requires spiritual discipline. Okay. Um, solitude and understanding. So yeah, you guys can definitely have this, uh, you guys can definitely have aspects in your natal chart that points towards you being into the metaphysics, into the occult, into mystery, whatever that's taboo. So you could have some strong eighth house, uh, type of placements here. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm picking up on you. You guys could have these planetary, um, aspects in your natal chart that pretty much expresses that you guys are into the occult into magic and the paranormal and mysteries and things like that. Okay. Um, I feel like you've been guided towards that your whole life. You've always been into it, um, as well. Some of you guys could also be practicing and learning to hone your skills when it comes to mediumship, when it comes to reading auras, uh, learning the art of detachment, occult. Okay. You guys are training yourself. You guys are always in training. You guys are more of like a master student. I don't feel like you guys are trying to be like a guru or a master teacher of some sort. You are forever a master student. Okay. Yeah. Some of you guys can be tapping into angelic magic as well, working with the angels. All right. So you could be learning a whole lot about yourself, going deep into the cold, hidden knowledge, deep into that. Uh, okay. Um, medium, you do have the gift of different clairs. Some of you guys can actually touch things. I'm getting extra sensory perception, ESP, just like I said in the last reading, ESP, where you guys are able to get visions in your mind eye as soon as you touch things. As soon as you touch things, um, you can get the energy off of it. Where has this, you could touch an object and you figure out where this object has been. 828 could be significant. Where, you know, you can figure out like what happened with this object, who touched it, what was going through that person's mind when they touched it. So you guys could be training yourself in mediumship. Okay. You guys could be getting a lot of mediumship books. I'm getting like hearing pages turn. Okay. You guys are able to see aura. Okay. See the auras on people. Okay. Um, some of you guys may have even been frightened or a little taken back by what you guys saw. All right. That's why it's important for you to practice detachment, to detach from all this spiritual tea. I feel like you guys are getting an overload on all kinds of spiritual tea. Okay. You find out a lot of things on the slide here. All right. So you just ask to kind of like de detach a little bit because like too much input, too much information, feeling everything, you know, so definitely work on really like grounding yourself, taking care of your crown shackle, your crown on down or whatever. Okay. Make sure you're constantly, you know, you know, uh, cleansing your aura. Okay. Because the, because you are an Oracle, a lot of the things that you say are going to inspire many, but it's also going to trigger many as well. So it's a double edged sword. It's a gift. I wouldn't even say it's a curse, but it's a gift and it's a, it's a uh, responsibility. Okay. All right. You guys are oracles, occultists. This could be something that's in your line. You come from a long line of people that are gifted with clairs, psychic mediums, oracles, um, occultists. This is who you are. All right. 